all right so we pretty much got the reveal that the new festival will be you are chaos arthur now again this you are the same as dk meliodas where you know we had to use up so many pendants to pretty much upgrade the character and uh super working in coins and i just wanted a little bit just discuss um pretty much how well this arthur will pretty much work in terms of the pvp meta and stuff like that or in the game in general now arthur as you can see he is a human race character for all those people who was memeing about him being like unknown or anything like that he is going to be human and for people who probably don't know his past so here you go um so it's basically for every human ally participate in battle increase the human's allies base stats by five percent for one oak gauge increase among the human allies by skill uses skill move or rank up apply call of chaos to the unit when call of chaos is the max stat at the start of allies turn remove all stacks of call of chaos and apply chaos domination to the unit for two turns and um call of chaos just gives like crit critical defense which plus 10 percent max hp uh by five percent up to four times and then the chaos domination taunts enemy uh makes the max hp 30 percent and removes two debuff from plot to the unit when using skill and applies extra damage by 25 percent of the unit's max hp so he has somewhere in his kit where he um he kind of benefits of having a lot of hp so you definitely want to use like a characters that will boost up his um his base stats or at least his hp in general um because we have been seeing over the years that we have been getting a lot of human characters who boost hp um the new one that i recently remember is going to be rid awaken uh roxy the christmas one and then you have a skill which is like inflict divine slash with inflict splash damage by 200 percent attack to a single enemy and that's the critical chance and two times damage on debuff enemy so you want the enemy have at least a debuff and then he has a wicked bite which inflicts blood damage by 100% attack on all enemies and applies seal of darkness to enemies for one turn. Now, if you don't know, seal of darkness is going to be infect and then also reduce the enemy's AoE damage by 30%. Kind of what we see with Demon King, where Demon King had the unique infect card. Uh, Arthur is going to have his own unique infect card that does something different. And then you have his ultimate, which applies power chaos to all enemies for three turns inflicts sever damage by 750% attack on all enemy that ignores enemy critical defense by 50% and applies four stacks of call of chaos to the unit uh, when participating in battle if the unit has power case applied increase the unit's damage dealing by 40% reduce damage taken by 30% and again power chaos is um all stats plus 20% reduce damage taken from ultimates by 50% i'm assuming the way that how the ultimate will be pretty much scale is about probably the amount of Call of Chaos, you're going to be putting on the enemy, I'm assuming, just like what DK Meliodas has with his passive, where he stack up more darkness depending on your ult level. So, depending on that, will kind of affect the, the amount of power K or the Call of Chaos stacks you'll get on the enemy um, to be applied with the passive. And obviously, obviously the uh, ultimate multiplier is also going to be changed too, right? So, he has a lot going on for his kit. He seemed like he, again, he wants to be paired alongside of a HP boosting team. Again, his attacks are attack scaling, but with that extra additional chaos domination, where it's like extra damage towards the unit's max HP, kind of makes you want to use a uh, max HP team or at least boost your HP. Now, again, Chaos Arthur looks pretty cool. It looks pretty sick. And they did showcase a little bit of PvP on the Korean side. Um, they just kind of like showcase the outfits right here. Right now, they just probably doing like trivia. This outfit looks pretty cool. Like, it's like all. I kind of like the outfits um i think they show a little bit of animations if you guys wanted to see that real quick um let's see see that that's his single target that's the skill flash and then i think this will be his infect let me see and that's his ultimate uh where's the infect did they showcase the infect oh did they just oh there you go all right there goes the infect card and how it looks pretty sick and it does a lot of damage you can see it applies a red debuff which is that new a infect and we're gonna go see his ultimate as well which is the end is that um it looks pretty cool it's like that um <laughs> what's that that move called planetary devastation from naruto <laughs> that's what it reminds me of planetary devastation <sighs> Doosh. Now again, that is seemingly the whole ultimate, or maybe it could be. It might be skipped. It might be skipped. There ain't no way that could be like the whole animation, right? It just looks so 
so mid right it can't be the that can't be the full thing right i have it might be it might be the full thing um but again this is just arthur himself again it's nothing too crazy in terms of that animation but this is gonna be a really good dps character now again we do have um pretty much pvp showcasing now the Kyrian used the Korean side used the human team versus the demon team which if you know demon teams on jp are literally almost non-existent and if you are using demons on demon and um jp you're most likely going to be dodge food this guy is just using cc food if anything uh most of jp players just use sin team the sin team is going to be the best one now it features lr eskinar arthur and then bond and his sub character is rid of and Wax roxy now you might be asking yourself how do i know that and you can tell by the damage he does right there and then you look at the gauge of the enemy he loses it right there so that just lets you know that the character he has is either green awaken easton or red roxy now seeing how high his cc was it's most likely red awaken roxy just because roxy has like 71k cc versus green awaken easton which i believe is like 67k and they pretty much do basically the same thing uh just rid of and roxy is definitely a lot better because she increased max hp and you can see those stacks of chaos on the, on him as well which does increase um critical defense on him which is why he has like where when the stacks are removed he has like a taunt just because it just shows like he has so much um stats that he almost becomes a, a taunt character so that's pretty cool And I think this is where his stack's gonna reset. Yeah, you can see he has a new gray buff on him, which I believe is his power of chaos. So now he's gonna do a lot more damage. Is he I forget like what it's called? Um is it like domination, right? Or is it the chaos of domination? Might be the domination. Sometimes when you get these new characters, you kinda like forget the, the whole names. Like it took me a while to figure out all the names for DK Meliodas. So you can see his AoE, which is this the Infect Flood card. And he does massive amounts of damage to the enemy. Like he took like almost 50, he took most of 50% of HP off of DK Meliodas, bro. From just a regular AoE Infect card. That's how powerful this Chaos Arthur is. And he looks pretty sick. Um, they do another showcase as well too on PvP using the same team. I think they switched up, um how they played though because obviously it's gonna, always going to depend on like your rng you can tell this yo yo you can just tell they just throw anything that man put the ritz Ario on s rosa holy snap <laughs> wait what didn't melios have like my only <laughs> i guess i guess you're not rocking ritz Ario, uh Meli meliotis again this is just a showcase uh you really never really want to trust um the showcases like that just because um let's be honest they just do it just so they can sell the unit <laughs> yeah we can rid sorry all right buddy i guess estros is critting nowadays and i think i know why he probably did that because i seeing how much damage es eskin are be taking on this human team even though arthur is giving like what 15 percent basis stats that man still get cooked in terms of like his stats he just like a he just a glass cannon character uh, which is very unfortunate so you can see the dk meliodas team and again um he's gonna, he's gonna go after eskinar look at that damage and here comes meliodas Literally, if Meliodas has Sario Link, I think S I think S gonna get in one shot. <laughs> I think S gonna get in one shot right there, just because the extra boost from the crazy damage. But I get it, man. They want to sell the character. Um, so this is where he's gonna use more so is his single target damage. Um, just so you guys can witness it. Again, that infect card just hits so hard. Literally brings Deem King to his damage cap threshold. All right. And it, the sword slash just looks so cool. He, again, he's doing this like one hand, bro. He's like, god dang, uh, uh, future Gohan. And now he has a gold card to set up. I'm assuming he's going to just use his flash card with the gold card just to see how powerful it might be. You guys can guess how many, how much numbers is going to be. 
<laughs> I think it's gonna be probably what in the uh the uh the millions. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh Arthur is like 76k right now, CC without being true awakened. So if you have a true awaken, he's gonna be like uh 77k CC, which is pretty good. Pretty good CC. I think Meliodas is literally 76k with true true awakening. So that's really fire. And WAP. Oh, only 535. Oh, he didn't. I don't think he had uh, the um the power chaos thing. I gotta remember what the heck what the name is. What, what's the name of it? Let me see. Let me look back at my, my screen share. It's uh chaos domination. Okay, it's chaos domination. I'm like, let me remember. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be chaos Arthur again. They had Rid Awaken Roxy sub. So if you're a person who didn't summon for Rid Awaken Roxy, it might be tough to use him just because um. He has LR Eskinor, which LR Eskinor wants you to use a full human team. I really don't think Green Awaken Easton is that really good to be uh, using them. Like, literally, they, right now, they're just doing trivia. Oh, okay. They're showcasing, like, what's going to be on the banner. Um, So, you have Bond, Eskinor, Roxy, Tear. Oh, so there's no... Wait. There's no Hail? Oh, that's going to be tough. It doesn't look like there's Hail on here either. So is Hell about to have her own Ragnarok festival? Cause she hasn't returned since what September? In the way, Hell isn't on this banner, right? But I'm seeing like Bond, Eskinor, Margaret, and Zeldris, Estrosa, Perg, Melly. Ew, that's kind of nasty. And obviously they got the power up tickets because they want to like sell that. Ew, what else they got on here? Oh yeah, they got these free banners as well. Um, this is gonna be a free banner where pretty much you can have. Green Arthur for a step up, which is kind of outdated now because we got the new Arthur. Blue Green Moore, and then uh, Green Eskinor for people who somehow don't have Green Eskinor or need Eskinor dupes. And then you have these characters to the left side who are going to be on the free banner, which is going to be Green Gother, Thonar, Lost Vein, and stuff like that. And they all going to be like UR90 if you pull them. So that's going to be really good. And. I, I really don't know what this means. Is they saying like coming soon a festival in terms of like Hmm, I kind of don't remember. I mean if you want to translate that you can and they have a 200 gym login event And it doesn't really they're not really showing much either Yeah, they're not really showing much Oh wait, wait is they giving away a uh, Wait, hold on. Is that a collab thing? Wait, hold up. They giving away a collab chest? No way, bro. They giving away a collab chest? That's crazy. They giving away collab chest? No, that's wild. No way, bro. Oh my god, that's been one of the main things people have been wanting is that they give like collab chests for the holy relics on like non um collab events. That is insane, bro. And they giving away those tickets. Nah, this got to be Nah. Oh, it, oh, it's a it's those wish things where you can get like one of one of these things. So if you're a person who probably um missing out on one of these things, you can go for that collab chest because it's like the wish box thing where you get one of the things for each um step. So you can wish for it and then see if you can get it. Nah, that's kind of crazy. Collab chest is gonna be so big for a lot of people. Uh, I might just go for outfits. I don't think I ha I don't I don't think we got those black outfits. Or do we? I thought it was just in white. I might be mistaken. They might not just be giving you that many uh wish box um keys, most likely. They might probably like to just tie it to um I don't think you could finish the steps or anything like that for the wish box keys. Or maybe you could, because it seems like they're giving a lot. I don't think they showing um the labyrinth on, on the KR run, but there's also a labyrinth. Um, I don't know if I can go to it real quick on the JP stream, but there's also a, like a labyrinth as well. That's kind of insane. Having the uh, holy. Nah, there's got to be a catch for that holy relic chest thing. Ain't no way. They giving away the holy relic chest. Never mind with that generous. Nah, there's got to be a catch. Um. Oh, they did it. Okay, they did these. Um, oh dang, JP did one too, and they used Blue Roxy instead of. Um, what the heck would they use in the back then? They use Blue Roxy instead of. I didn't see. I don't really see Arthur crit unless it's a single target. So, 
don't think there's any benefit of using like blue awaken roxy right that's why it look like they struggling a lot on getting rid of freaking s rosa team it's probably good at, it's probably good at getting rid of maybe maliota's first turn but not really good yeah it doesn't seem like hell is on the banner either it's kind of crazy i wanted to go to the labyrinth um because i know jp did it like early where they showcase like the labyrinth thing fortunately a lot okay there goes a labyrinth one where okay they got new labyrinths and you can see they got these outfits on there as well um unfortunately it doesn't seem like a newer outfit it's just these rerun outfits but who knows we'll have to see what the patch notes and they got holy relic for zanary uh it's pretty pointless i'm not gonna lie to you like you know i have the translation but it's like it's like it's literally just pointless and i don't think there's anything else that's crazy until like maybe the patch notes most likely but yeah seeing that um the holy relics for for a uh, collapse being in those chest things it's kind of crazy again i might be a catch where it's not that many keys they will be given out for that that probably is the probably the catch where you can't finish out all the steps but i don't really know um again it's still a generous thing to even have those because again i know a lot of people who be missing out on collapse oh wait dang i don't think i really talked about this either is that on they still doing the 900 gems thing for the uh one of the outfits <laughs> what was it like last time where it was like like it literally it was like four weeks afterwards they give you they said they sold it for like 30 gems or something like that nah, that is crazy uh, okay yeah they just okay i think we do have those outfits the black outfits was that a mistake when i think that it was white i might have mistaken or, or something yeah but that's gonna be pretty much it in terms of the uh me talking about the chaos arthur again um looks like it's gonna be a really fun celebration and stuff like that it doesn't seem like giving up giving like unique events and stuff like that it just seems like there's gonna be like rerun events but the chaos arthur character looks pretty fun and interesting um it's gonna be fun showcasing with so many many human teams because again he does boost base stats of human characters uh by 15 percent you can also pair him probably with yuri to give a insane 30 percent base stat boosting to the human team so that's gonna be really cool to see and showcase so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe again this really guys i'm out peace